we will learn the mechanism of blood circulation in our body. System, what is system? The combination of organs that involved in circulating blood to all over the body. Why circulation is needed? Because blood carries oxygen and all the important substances to each and every organ and each and every organ or we can say that each and every cell need nutrients, oxygen, water. That is why circulation of blood is needed as blood carries all those important substances to all over the body. So which organs are involved? Major organ is heart, blood vessels and lungs. How circulation occurs? So basically circulation is done by heart. Heart had basically four chambers. What? Atrium, the upper two chambers, ventricles, the lower two chambers. So right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle. At first, deoxygenated blood loads into right atrium how by superior vena cava and by inferior vena cava so superior vena cava and inferior vena cava both loads the blood into right atrium after that right at from right atrium blood comes into right ventricle so first right atrium to right ventricle which blood deoxygenated blood after that this deoxygenated blood left right ventricle by what by a blood vessel called pulmonary artery why pulmonary artery because this artery leads this deoxygenated blood to lungs for gas exchange after that right atrium to lungs why to gas exchange by pulmonary artery so at first blood loads into right atrium right atrium to right ventricle right ventricle to lungs because lungs is the site for gas exchange after gas exchange co2 wala blood is changed to oxygenated blood now lungs send this oxygenated blood to this left atrium so left atrium to left ventricle and left ventricle to whole body this is the basic mechanism of circulation of blood so at first blood loads into right atrium by superior vena cava and inferior vena cava after that blood will enter into right ventricle the lower part right ventricle right ventricle to lungs right ventricles to lungs why lungs because this is deoxygenated blood and this blood need to be filtered or this blood need to be converted into oxygenated blood so lungs will exchange the gases that means co2 o2 lungs will give o2 to the blood so blood is converted to oxygenated blood or we can say that pure blood this pure blood will left lungs directly come into left atrium by pulmonary vein so pulmonary vein to left atrium left atrium to left ventricle and left ventricle to all over the body this is left ventricle left ventricle to all the body by by aorta remember the name so there are basically three vessels pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery and aorta.